Principle number seven in finish line thinking is embrace failure, fail fast, learn the lesson and move on. I'm gonna tell you a story from my good friend, Mark McCoy, the great Canadian track and field Olympic gold medalist. When Mark got started out, he was a skinny teenager in high school and he wanted to run track. He was absolutely bound and determined to be a sprinter. He went over to his coach and told his coach, I wanna run track, I wanna be a sprinter. Well, the coach said to him, Mark, I don't have room for any more sprinters on the team. I've got enough sprinters. Besides, you're too skinny and you're too slow. But I do need a hurdler. Could you be a hurdler? Mark said, hurdler? I don't want to be a hurdler. I don't know anything about hurdling. I want to be a sprinter. The coach said, well, Mark, here's your choice. You can either be my hurdler or you can be my water boy. That's the only way you're going to be on this track team. Pick. So Mark said, I'll be a hurdler. And he said, good news, Mark. You're my hurdler. But bad news, we don't have any hurdles. But don't worry. Pretend there's hurdles about every three steps and pretend to jump over them. So Mark actually started training with virtual hurdles back in the day when virtual wasn't really invented as a concept. He kept doing this month after month. Finally, a big track meet arrived. And in that track meet, there were actual hurdles on the track. That wasn't good news because the hurdles weren't three steps apart. The coach was wrong. They were actually 10 yards apart. Mark had a disastrous race. He hit every hurdle and he finished dead last. A lot of people would have taken that as a sign to quit, but not Mark. Mark thought to himself, that was good. I learned something. I learned I need a better coach and I learned I need hurdles to train with. So he went and he got himself a better coach and he got himself some hurdles and he started training properly. Within less than six months, Mark entered the Ontario Championships, the offices, and he won gold. What's the lesson here? The lesson is, don't take failure as a final failure. That's the only way you've truly failed. What you really need to do is embrace failure, bring it to you, quickly learn from that failure, learn the lesson, move on, and move toward greater success. Every success in life has been a failure first. The great Abraham Lincoln lost every political race he ran. He lost a race for local councilmen. He lost a race for Congress. He famously lost a race for the Senate during the Lincoln-Douglas debates. But the race that really counted, the most important one, which was for the presidency, he won. And as a result of Lincoln winning the presidency, he was able to save the Union in the United States and free the slaves, which is one of the greatest success accomplishments in politics in the history of the world. Embrace failure, learn the lesson, and move on fast. If you do that, you too can learn how to think and win like a champion.